accepted. Not even a single salah is going to be accepted. Because they are without the impact of Muhammad Ali Anything that you do, it has to be done with the wasila and through the ibadat of Muhammad Ali so we need our salah. Indeed, we need our salah only and purely for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We give our zakat purely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for the prayer of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we perform, how we perform purely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is nothing else that we do other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We only please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the ibadah that we are doing, it is only and purely for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is no involvement on anything. But why? If we do the ibadah purely, solely for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and yet that ibadah is given back to us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I don't need your ibadah. Why? We ask the quote for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, why, 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 our ibadah is not going to be accepted? Because the best of the creation, he is the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created you and me. He is the reason every single thing is created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If he was not there, then nothing would be happening. There wouldn't be anything in this dunya. So everything created because of Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And anything wants to get to be forgiven, anybody who wants to be forgiven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they have to go to the court of Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Huzur alayhi salatu wa salam said, how do we do the ida'at now? Allah says, whosoever followed my Muhammad Arabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, indeed he followed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Huzur alayhi salatu wa sallam says, La iman la iman la muhabbat la Any ibadah that we do, it has to be done with the iman in our heart. Any person who is non-believer, who does not have the iman in their heart, doesn't matter how many times he leaves his salah. Doesn't matter how many hajj and umrahs he has performed. Because his heart was empty from the iman, the nur of iman. Nothing will be accepted. And what is the iman Huzur alayhi salatu wasalam has taught us? And the iman Huzur alayhi salatu wasalam says, La iman liman la muhabbat alahu. The person does not have the iman if he does not have the muhabbat for me in his heart. Any heart which is empty, from the muhabbat of Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, from the love of Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, their ibadah is not going to be accepted. And for the very same iman, Huzur alayhi salatu wa sallam said, on a day of judgment when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will order those people to enter in Jahannam, they will enter in Jahannam. Upon those people, Jahannam is wajib, they will enter in Jahannam hellfire. And those who are going to go, go into Jannah, they will go into Jannah. Huzur alayhi salatu wasalam said, on that day, at that moment, I will make dua from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give me the maqam and mahmood. The my intercession will be the first to open the doors for other intercessions. I will make intercession for every single believer. Anybody who has the iman equivalent to a puppy seed. Very tiny amount of iman, Huzur alayhi salatu said. If anybody has the iman in his heart, I will make sure I will take him out of the health I will take him to the Jannah. Oh, this is the, what is Iman? Muhabbat and Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Oh, really? And Umar Farooq and Allah ta'ala, you heard this man, very famous hadith in Umarika. And as Umar Farooq <coughs> sat in front of Huzur alayhi salatu wa sallam, Huzur sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked, Oh Umar, who do you love the most? And the honesty, look at those companions. They taught us how to love Huzur alayhi salatu wa sallam. As Umar Farooq said to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Ya Rasulullah, Indeed, I love you more than anything, but I love myself even more. Huzur alayhi salatu salam said to Umar Farooq, O oh, Umar, La yu'minu ahadukum hatta akuna ahabba ilayhi min waladihi wa waladihi wa nasi atma'i. O Umar, remember that. Nobody will be a believer until unless they love me more than their own parents, their own children, their own wife, their own daughters, even every single creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even from themselves, they have to love me more to be a believer in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So imagine, this is hadith, famous hadith from Bukhari Sharif. So imagine the maqam the sahaba karam then had, then Hazrat Umar Farooq radiallahu ta'ala and said to Huzur alayhi salatu wa salam, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, bear witness from this moment. Today I announce that I love you more than myself. Allah, 
so I can come amongst those people who are believers in your court. Maqam of Umar Farooq is not an ordinary Sahaba. He's one of those companions when he embraced Islam. Companions started worshipping openly and announced everything. They, oh, they, before that, they used to hide that Iman. They never used to open it in front of the Kufar and Mushrikeen. Because the Kufar and Mushrikeen tortured those companions. The day Hazrat Umar Farooq embraced Islam, that was the first time they openly announced and went into Baitullah Sharif and did the Tawaf of Khan Kaaba. When Hazrat Umar Farooq embraced Islam, this is how they showed us how to look. When at the time of when Huzul Islam migrated from this Makkah Sharif to Medina, when the order came from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they left as the Ali Murtaza Shayr al Khuda. They hired and said, O oh Ali, these are the amana that I have. These are the things that I have. And I, 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 the people given it to me as an imanat. I want you to return them back to those people. These things don't belong to me. They are somebody else's things. So I want you to give it back to them. And then come to Medina. Allah has ordered me to migrate. So I am going to depart from this, this city today, tonight. I want you to stay on my bed. As Ali Murtaza, Shere Khuda, Allah Wajal Kareem, he lie down on the bed. And then, after a while, companion asked, Oh Ali, did you not fear on that day when you lied on the bed of Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, thinking that Kufar and Mushrikeen outside, they want to kill Huzur Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and Ayyad Billah that came to kill Huzur Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and you were lying on the bed of Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, so did you not have the fear? As Ali al Murtaza, Shaykh al Khuda, Karam Allah, Wajal Kareem, he says to them, O oh people of Allah, Al Azim, that night was one of the best nights of my life. Allah. The way I slept, that was the best of the sleep I had. I never slept like this ever in my life. He asked, What is the reason? How did you sleep that peacefully? He said, Because the, the word of Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. From the mouth of Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this came out, they said to me, Oh Ali, return these things back to those people and come to Medina. I will wait for you in the Medina. I have the yaqeen and I have the iman on that. Because Muhammad Arabi has said this, then nothing can harm me in this dunya. Allah. I will make sure I enter in a Medina, in the place, in the city of Medina. So has Ali al this is the aqeedah and yaqeen. If this is not the ilm al then what is the ilm al -ghayr? If this is not the ilm al then what is this ilm al -ghayr? This is the aqeedah. This aqeedah, Ahlul Sunnah wal Jawad, the aqeedah that we have, this is the aqeedah of companions of Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is not an ordinary aqeedah. The same aqeedah how the Uthman al-Ghani radiallahu ta'ala an, they showed us how to love. When you love somebody, you follow every single action they have done in their life. You follow the sunnah of Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is the easiest way to show that you love Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.